hi everyone welcome back to another video today it's spend a day with me in the kitchen i'm sorry about the background my washing machine is making a lot of noise i'm drying my clothes i'm doing wash and dry so the dryer is making a lot of noise so I'm going to start with making burritos, uh, kind of like a mini meal prep. I started with cooked... <coughs> Ooh, ah. I'm sorry about that. I started with uh, minced meat, cooked, seasoned, added uh, grilled potatoes or what you would call hash browns and then i added um, eggs i made about um okay i'll tell you and i added eggs and i added mozzarella and you can taste your your burrito filling and see if it tastes um if the seasoning is well if it's not well you can always try and you can always adjust your seasoning so what i have used here it's 500 gram of uh, minced meat and i used um, about five uh, potatoes grilled them in an oven cut, peeled cut or diced them and grilled them in an oven with salt and oil and then i did fry up uh, scrambled eggs eight eggs and then in i used one mozzarella ball you know that's what i used as my burrito filling and then i am going to i used about 16 uh, tortilla wraps uh, that i warmed in a microwave for a minute and later on i realized that it wasn't warm enough because if it's not warm when you wrap um when you wrap your your burrito it kind of breaks so it's very important for you to to wrap it um to warm it so that it can be easy you can be able to to wrap it easily thank you so much again for clicking in i know you could have chosen to watch another video but you chose to watch this one and for that i appreciate you and i hope you stay up until the end of the video After 
doing the burritos, wrapping them. Um, I did the, I went ahead to measure or to start on my dinner rolls, which was six cups of flour. I used uh, two, four cups of cake flour and two cups of bread flour. And then I added three... <laughs> Three tablespoons of sugar. Please add four. The sugar was not enough. It overpowered the salt a little bit. And then I added 10 grams of of, of yeast and 100 grams of, of butter, real butter. I will leave the receipt in a description box. Um, and please, if you do have time, knead your dough so that it can have a smooth uh, finish at the end i didn't have time to to um to to knead the dough i used my lazy method for dinner rolls it doesn't work quite well because we do not want a, a rustic look but because i just wanted to feed my family that was fine and then i added eggs and then I added 500 ml of milk and then uh, two teaspoons of, of Himalayan salt. My butter, I melted it and let it uh, cool before I added it onto my flour. You really don't want it to come as... Um, to cook your dough, if I put it that way. And my milk as well, I didn't have fresh milk, so I did powder milk, not creamer, powder milk. I used powdered milk, uh, clean to be precise. If you have Nespray, you can use that. That's what I used for my dough. And then mix everything together. I will try and put uh, the receipt into the description box. And then uh, I did add a little bit of water because I felt that it wasn't um, the, cons the consistency. It was not what I wanted. And I'm going to let it sit for an hour or so. This is the butternut that I cooked on Sunday, uh, the previous Sunday, not this past one. Uh, and then I only used the top part of it. Remember, I cooked two, and then I only used the top part of it, and I put it in the fridge. So today I'm going to grill it even further so that I can uh, add it onto my my salad for dinner tonight. After an hour of my dough sitting or proving, <coughs> this is how it looks. And I am kneading it a little bit, not too much. And we'll let it sit again for another hour and repeat it. And I will let it sit 
for up until I am ready to deal with it. So after that was done, I went on to rinsing my leaves for my salad base, which was rocket and baby spinach. It's after an hour again and then I'm going to knead it again for two to three minutes and then we'll let it prove once again or up until I'm ready to to bake it, which happened to be much much later of the day.
This is how I make my smashed potato. I put them in an oven with salt and oil. Uh, once they are fully cooked, then I take them out and smash them with a glass. And then I'm going to put, put them back again onto the oven up until they are somewhat crispy on the side. And then it will be ready to serve. After dinner, I was now ready to deal with my dough or my dinner rolls. Although this was supposed to be, um, what do you call? It was supposed to be part of dinner, but I felt like I was already running out of time for dinner time. So I decided that mm, it will be breakfast for the following day. And that's exactly what I did. And um, I'm going to bake them while I unpack my dishwasher and pack it and prepare to go to bed. <music> Thank you.
my rolls are ready and they look really 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 good and i hope you try the recipe and uh, let me know how it goes so thank you so much for watching up until this far and don't forget to like comment and share and i hope to see you on my next upload bye Thank you.